Hi everyone, this short video is going to introduce you to locating resources using the library databases. So in most cases, when you do research, you're going to go directly to the library database that you are most interested in using. Um, you're going to get your favorite databases and the ones that you become comfortable with. So for our specific purposes, uh, we'll take a look at our unit one course. Um, and the unit readings. So if we take a look at the unit readings, what we can see is that the resources have been found through the ProQuest database. That gives you a really clear sense of how you can find the readings for yourself. So one option, as we covered in the other video, is to use the general search bar. But if you know what database that the source came from, you can also go directly to that database. So in this case, we're going to go to the library resources that are located directly in the Blackboard website. And then from the library resources page, we're going to scroll down to the A to Z database list. Now we have 127 databases currently at the PGCC library. Um, that's a really overwhelming number, but if you know the database you want, it's actually an easy way to find information. You can think of it as a store inside of a mall, for instance, or an online shop inside of the whole internet. So we know that the database um, article came from ProQuest. So we'll go down to the letter P and then we'll click on ProQuest. ProQuest is one of the larger databases that we have at the PGCC library. ProQuest is a little bit like the Amazon of databases. In this case though, we know what the source is that we're looking for. So we're gonna type it in. And because we know the exact title, we're gonna use quotation marks so that we can get the exact information. And then we're gonna search. And the first thing that you'll see is the actual article that we want. This is going to include a lot of information. You can find an abstract, which gives you an overview for the article. You can access the full text of the article. So that's going to look like a scanned version. And from there, you can download a PDF. It will show you the references in the article so that you can kind of use that as a breadcrumb trail. And then the other thing that these databases are really great for is that they're gonna actually help you cite the articles. So you can select the citation style that you'd like. Um, for instance, if we want APA, which is what we're using in this course, we wanna make sure we get it without the abstracts. And it gives you the citation, it gives you the citation that you can copy and paste into your own um, reference page at the end. So the thing about databases is that they're going to kind of narrow down the kind of sources you get. So if you remember in the last video, I did a general source for writers and English um, and got over 2 million results. If we do that same source here, we're going to get still a ton of results but we're going to be able to filter them using these filters over here much more easily. We're gonna be talking about filters and search terms throughout the semester, but for right now, all you need to know is that when you get to the databases, you can use the individual databases to find the resources if you know which database the article came from. 